Yo, what up, it's Jay Shot here today. I'm bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops D gameplay with the commentary. The gameplay you see in the background is on hijacked hard point. My friend was using the A94 with a reflex A and the stock attachment, and he was able to pull off a double nuclear. So he told me, Jay, can you post this on my channel and give a shout out to our clan? I'm like, sure, why not? So I'm giving a shout out to the clan right now. They're the XBAM Pub Stopping Ground War clan. And the thing is, is that they're at 50 subscribers right now. So let's push them off to 70 subscribers. And the reasons why you should subscribe to them is because they have a bunch of 100 pluses there. And now they're going to start off with a double nuke with every single gun series. So it's really entertaining to see these guys grow. And they're really entertaining gameplay getters. So watch them. They're really cool guys. And I hope you all enjoyed their content here. And please, guys, push them to 70 subscribers. Let's push them at least to 70 subscribers because I think that they deserve it. And they deserve way more subscribers than they do as at the moment right now so definitely subscribe to them and the nuclears i started off with a 10 gun streak on the first nuclear and the five gun streak on the second nuclear the reasons why i did that because the nuclears are fairly short but the thing is, is that i didn't want you guys staying here for around eight to ten minutes watching gun kill after gun kill after gun kill because it's really boring to watch cod for around 10 minutes so i try to cut it down as short as i can and i got it with this six minute video so i hope you all enjoy this gameplay here and i hope you all enjoy this commentary that's supposed to come up please leave it a really like on the video right now let's go right into the commentary so the commentary is about my dumbass friend he's my best friend in real life though um i love him to death he has he has been with me since I was in grade one, and the thing is that we've been friends ever since. So he's a really cool guy. I really like him. He's really humble. He's really down to earth, and that's why I really like about him. So definitely, he's one of my best friends in real life, and probably will be my best friend for in real life for a very long time. So he's a really cool guy. So the thing is, is that in grade one, he moved away from me, and the thing is, we've been 20 kilometers away from each other, but it's like a 30 minute, 40 minute drive, and we see each other pretty frequently maybe around five times a year and the things we hang out occasionally so it's a really cool time just to see him around and hang out with him and catch up with him so yo i really miss this dude yo we we're about to see each other in about like 20 days so so he's a really cool guy here and the thing is, is that he's kind of rich that what i mean by that is that he his family his family was really smart about how they saved up their money and they bought a bunch of luxurious items and the things he doesn't act rich he doesn't act like a brat and that's why i really like about him as well so one day he called me over and he said yo jay you want to hang out tonight you want to hang out tonight and i'm like yeah sure why and he's like yo we're gonna go swimming we're gonna go to uh, have a gun have a water gun fight and i'm like okay sure so we were there and the thing is, is that he told me that he, yeah, they're doing it in the background. I'm like, okay, why not? So I brought my water gun. I brought my swimming clothes. And the thing is, is that I was pre prepared to get really, really wet. But the thing is, is that his hot tub wasn't working for some occasionally reason. And the thing is, is that his dad didn't know how to work it. His mom didn't know how to work it. So like this, oh, yo, whatever. Let's just go to the pool. I'm like, sure, why not? So we go to the pool. There was like a traffic delay there. We had like 30 minutes in traffic, even though it was like a 10-minute, 5-minute drive. So it was really annoying. But the thing is, is that we kind of sang in the car, acting random like we, we usually do. And the thing is, is that we were just talking about a bunch of things. We are catching up with each other. So that's what happened. So one thing is that we were going swimming and things i don't know how to swim for shit like i can't swim at all i'm you i'm suck so much but things now i'm getting a bit better i can tread in water for around like 30 seconds only but before i couldn't swim at all no way no way jose so the things that i hate water i hate going into water maybe i hate just swimming like that's water above my head because i know that i could drown and the thing is, is that he thought i could swim because he seen me swim before in around short distances and he thinks that i'm a pretty good swimmer i'm a pretty decent swimmer and this guy is like a lifeguard in training my friend he wants to be a lifeguard and the thing is, is that he said that yo if you drown i can save you the problem is, is that he's only around 80 pounds and i'm around 110 pounds which is average weight for me he's underweight uh, he got to get his crap together with some of his weight problems but the thing is that he told me yo let's go on the diving board i'm like yo i can't do the diving board i can't swim for shit and he's like this nah yeah i saw you i saw you swim before you're pretty good at it and yo don't worry don't worry the edge is on the other side you can just grab onto it and i'm like yes yo how deep is this pool and he's like yes yo 15 feet deep i'm like what the frick are you doing bro i can't swim for crap and he's like yes yeah you can yeah so we tested out in the mini pool for a second and he thinks like yo you could swim you could swim yo your feet are your, your feet aren't touching the water are they and he's like yo my feet are touching the water and he's like it's all oh, whatever whatever bro so 
he told me to go on there. He called me a wussy and called me everything. And the thing is, I don't want to be called that at all. So I wanted to prove him wrong. But the thing is, I made my own mistake. And the thing is, is that I jumped in 15 deep. And once I landed in the water, I started paddling the fish. Oh my god. And the thing is, is that he said that if I do occasionally drown, he can save me. And the thing is, is that he jumped in after. And oh my freaking god, this guy can't even lift me for crap. My god, Kev my god, Kevin, you can't do any crap right now. So he kept on grabbing me. He tried to pull me to the edge, but he wasn't strong enough. So then after that, a guy who was around his mid-30s, he grabbed me from the water. He grabs me and he pulled me to the side. Amazing guy. I can't believe that he actually helps me. And thank you. Thank you, dude, to who helped me. And my friends started laughing because of it. I'm like, holy crap, this is not fun. You always made me die. And that was really retarded of him. But I forgive him. My parents got kind of mad at me because I was jumping into deep water. They started laughing it off after. And it was a really good day overall. But the thing is that I could have died there. And the thing is I can't swim at all for shit. So never go against the water if you can't swim, guys. That's the lesson to be learned. I hope you all enjoyed this gameplay with the commentary. Please guys leave an early like on the please guys leave a like on the video and I hope you all enjoy this gameplay here. So check out uh, X Band the Pub Stopping Ground War Clan. So later guys, peace.